I've been studying every F1 track in reverse to take my own driving and coaching skills to a new level. Here we are in Suzuka, Japan, and the theme here is blind corners. There were three occasions where I was totally blinded, which means I couldn't quite see the apex of the corner until I actually got there. Here was the first one, it's the chicane in reverse, and this is actually quite rare, and it means that the track has a lot of elevation. Here's the second one into spoon. You see, I can't really see that apex until I actually get there. So as I say, it's quite rare, and you need significant elevation for this to be a thing. It might pop up a few times in Magello, but I can't really think of anywhere else where this is actually a thing. So to get around this, it's similar to braking without breaker boards because you need to guess your brake and turn in point without actually sighting the corner. So some of the things you can do are use anything static on the track like a tree or a curb as a turning point, but also generally just get used to the flow of the track and the timings of gears, shifts and revs because this is really helpful when it comes to navigating your turn in as well. Let me know how you navigate blind corners. Comment your thoughts in the comments section below. If you're an open formula driver and about to kick off 2024, I have a six week course to brush you up and get you firing before your first race. If you're interested in having me work with you as your private one-on-one -on -one coach, visit www.lowerlaptime.com and watch the free training or send me an email directly.